Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm doing a review on the TK Boxing Sparring Gloves. So check it out. Hey guys, today I'm doing a review on the TK Boxing Sparring Gloves. I got mine in all white, 14 ounces. It is a lace-up closure only model. You can also get these in 16 ounces. Multiple colorways including black, red, pink, and blue, as well as the white that you see here. Gloves made of full genuine leather construction with molded foam over the knuckle area that has a very firm consistency to it. And I believe the gloves are manufactured in Pakistan. Now, from a design standpoint, it's a very simplistic looking glove. To me, the shape reminds me of a kind of a generic Pakistan made glove that you can see or find on eBay or some other manufacturers. Um, there's nothing really that stands out about that glove, about the glove in that regard. The leather on here has more of a satin finish. It's not a very shiny leather. It's not matte. It's kind of in between. You have that TK Boxing logo on the back of the glove. It's a relatively new company established in 2020. On the back of the wrist support, you have the TK Boxing plastic patch that's fairly large. It has their website, tkboxingequipment.com, designed in Los Angeles. So you have that there. The issue I have with this and any glove that has a plastic patch is you often have these sharp edges on the plastic and especially because this is designed to be a sparring glove, you're definitely gonna have to get some tape to tape over this patch. Otherwise, you can definitely cut, um, cut your sparring partner open with the edges on that. So I'm not a big fan of the plastic on a sparring glove. The inside has a tricot liner. You also have the weight tag that says 14 ounces. You have that tricot liner all the way through. You have about an inch of firm density foam padding on the back of the wrist. On the inside of the wrist, I'd say you have maybe a quarter of an inch of medium density foam padding on the inside that comes up to right here on the stitching and on this side comes up and kind of tapers off around that area. Nice long flat white laces. You have double stitching. All white, so all the piping is white as well. And then it says handcrafted with honor on the grip bar a leather attached thumb. I'd say the grip bar is medium in size. It's more of kind of like an, a pointy grip bar. It's not very like circular or oval. It has a little bit more of a point to it. And again, in terms of profile and sizing, I'd say that this is a, basically a, a true to size 14 ounce glove, maybe a little bit on the larger side. Um, so again, if you're using these for sparring, whether it's the 14 or 16, in terms of sizing, I think this, these would be a perfect size for a sparring glove. Now, when it comes to quality, there's definitely a few flaws with this glove. The first thing is probably the most noticeable in both gloves is the stitching. And you'll notice on this one that there's a little bit of a, a rip down there. And that, this is the way the gloves were delivered to me. This is even before I used them. So you can see that there's a rip there. You can see that the stitching is bad on the that piping right there on the thumb. Um, the glove itself is supposed to be at 14 ounces. It was a little off weight. I think it was underweight by, by, about, by about like three ounces each glove. So not too bad in terms of weight, but it is not perfectly on weight. The weight distribution of the glove is actually pretty solid. You can see that because they use that stiffer, um, what it feels like to be like EVA foam on the back of the wrist that you don't have a very top heavy glove. Um, and just the leather on here just feels pretty generic. I mean, to be honest with you, I was expecting a little bit more because I feel like there's a lot of hype around this brand. Uh, you can see the stitching in between the thumb and the index finger right there. But I, I feel like there could be so much more with this glove. And the fact that they use injected molded foam, I, I hate molded foam in my personal opinion. I just feel like it's a cheap foam. A lot of entry level brands that you see uh, use molded foam just because it's easy to manufacture and to, to actually assemble into the gloves because it's just one block of foam rather than using a layered foam padding where you have to glue the foam sheets together to kind of come up with the consistency that you want for that glove. With the molded foam, it's just one, one you know, chunk of, of, of foam and then they stuff it into the glove. And I'm just not a fan of that. I mean, it's, it's a good glove, a good foam to use in a glove if you want something more shock absorbent and protective, but you just don't get really good feedback out of it. And the same thing with the flexibility of being able to open, open your close your hand. It's just super stiff uh, right off the bat. So I'd say to me, I'm just not a fan of the molded foam especially at a glove of this price point, which we'll discuss here in a second. The leather on here is, is pretty much your standard uh, Pakistan leather. The stitching definitely could be better, uh, a little bit underweight, and I'm not a fan of that plastic patch on the back of the glove. Now, comfort-wise, sliding your hand into the glove, the liner is very comfortable. 
Um, wrist support feels really good. Uh, thumb positioning is actually really nice. Uh, the thumb feels nice and parallel. There is definitely enough room for your thumb with hand wraps on. Um, and when I make a fist, it doesn't collapse the thumb down, so it doesn't feel like my thumb jams into the end of the, the, the thumb compartment. So that's really good. I do like the, the finger compartment too. It's nice and deep, so you can really get a ni nice tight fist. I do wish that the, the grip bar was larger so I could feel it more when I roll my hands into it. Um, but you also have a secondary grip bar, like a piece of neoprene on the finger area. So uh, it's really nice that they added that so you can kind of really grip down. Um, the thing about this glove is that you can't open your hand at all. So you can see it uses molded foam. <sighs> that's, as, that's literally as far as I can open my glove. And that's because they, again, uh, use molded foam. But the, the comfort of the glove is definitely there. It's just a little bit stiff. It's gonna take a long time to really break this, this foam in to loosen it up. Uh, but the liner feels really good. It does tend to get a little bit hot because it uses that tricot foamy style liner if it soaks up sweat. So if you get these gloves, I definitely uh, recommend to air them out. Protection and performance wise, you don't get very much feedback with this glove. Um, that molded foam has a little bit more of a rounder shape. I wish that it would flatten out a little bit more, at least early on when you first get the gloves. But because it's molded foam, it retains its shape very well and it just takes a very long time to break it in. So. You have kind of more of a round punch surface, which I'm not a fan of, and it's very protective. So if you're looking for something that absorbs shock, like to use on a very stiff, densely filled heavy bag, or even a wall bag, then you definitely get good shock absorption. So for those of you that maybe have like a knuckle uh, injury or, or wrist issue, something where you need a little bit more shock absorption, then these would be a, definitely a good choice for you. But anything other than that, like in terms of feedback, you just don't really get it with this glove in my opinion, but very good for protection. Cost-wise, these gloves are $108. Um, I definitely feel like they're they're overpriced for what they are. Um, I think you can get like a similar glove that's if if not even better, you know, in the $60 to $70 range, um, just based on the quality, um, the 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 foam they use in there, molded foam. Just again, to me, a molded foam is for gloves that are like sub $50. You know, not in a glove that's above $100. Uh, using molded foam, I mean, to me, if you're gonna do it right. Use a use a, a, a layered foam that you picked out that you're happy with, and that you feel whoever's going to buy your product is going to be happy with, and say, okay, this is the type of foam I like in my glove. I get great feedback. I get great good good pop and bang out of the glove, and it just I can open and close my hand inside the glove, and it just doesn't feel generic. So for the hundred eight dollars, definitely think it's overpriced. Pros of the gloves is going to be you have two different sizes. I do like the fact. Uh, that you have multiple colorways. It's a fairly nice looking glove. Um, I think it looks really clean. I do like the fact that it's full genuine leather construction. They don't use any type of synthetic. And I do like the liner on the inside, that tricot soft liner. It's easy to slide my hand in and out of the glove. Um, the cons of the gloves, it does feel pretty generic for a glove of this price. I don't like the plastic patch on the back of the glove. There is definitely stitching issues with the glove. It's slightly underweight, could use a larger grip bar. Um, and then the molded foam is the big, the big one for me. It's just very stiff, doesn't give you a good amount of feedback, hard to open and close your hands, and it takes a long time uh, to break in. So, so those are my pros and cons for these gloves. If you guys have any questions or comments, as usual, put them down below. I'll put the link in the description box where you can find these TK Boxing sparring gloves. And I'll see you guys later. Take care.